We can solve this very simply without doing any algebra. Let's have a look at the line here, x equals a. And let's have a look at this first functional equation. Well, if we're going to have reflective symmetry, it's going to have to be symmetric around this line. So if we take a point here, a plus x, then f of a plus x, if that equals f of a minus x for all x, then clearly that one is going to be reflectively symmetric about x equals a. Let's have a look at this one here, 2a. So we've got here the point 2a, 2a plus x. So here's a point 2a plus x here, and we need that to be symmetric with minus x here, where this is minus x. Well, they're both a plus x away from the line x equals a, so there is going to be reflective symmetry there. Let's have a look at 2a minus x. Well, if we have 2a here and we take x this way, so we've got 2a minus x, and here we have the point x here, well, clearly this is going to be a minus x away, and this is going to be a minus x away. So again, there is reflective symmetry about the line x equals a. Let's have a look at this fourth one here. Well, if we rewrite that as minus a plus x and a minus x, what it's saying here is if we take the point minus a and we add x to minus a, then that will be the same as f of x a minus x there. Well, that is reflective symmetry around x equals 0, not x equals a. So that is the wrong one. Finally, this e, this is actually the general form for all of these ones here. So let's, for example, take p is equal to 3a. Well, if we had 3a add x here, well, that means p plus q equals 2a means q would have to be minus a, and it have to be minus a minus x here. Well, that distance there is always going to be equal to that distance there, so there'll still be reflective symmetry about the line x equals a, so that one has reflective symmetry as well. So the answer is D.